Patriots, welcome to Rex Times TV. I'm yours, Don Lorenzo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 6, 2021. Let's go to Anna Alicia to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Yozdani. Today in history, April 6, 1896, Summer Olympic Games are reborn in Athens 1,500 years after being banned by Roman Emperor. These were the first international Olympic Games in modern history. There were only 14 countries and 241 athletes participating. The games included a marathon, swimming, shooting, gymnastics, and more. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, and Ana Alicia. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. The Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games torch relay has begun. The Olympic flame, which was kindled in Olympia, Greece, on March 12, 2020, and transported to Japan on March 20, 2020, spent a year at the Olympic Museum in Tokyo after the games were postponed due to the coronavirus. On March 25, 2021, it began its 121-day journey from Fukushima to Tokyo's National Stadium, which is the venue for the opening and closing ceremonies. In the coming months, 10,000 torchbearers, each chosen for their ability to overcome adversity, will take turns running the Olympic flame to the National Stadium for the July 23rd, 2021 opening ceremony. Now let's go to Noah to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is turkey ham and cheese sandwich, sun splash buddy juice, baby carrots, mixed fruit, ranch, mayo, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to you, Stan. Thank you, Noah. Patriots, the yearbook is currently on sale. Order your yearbook before April 9th to get the pre-production rate of $25. After April 9th, the cost will rise to $30. All yearbook purchases must be made through myschoolbucks.com. Get your yearbook today. Scholars, the FSA is continuing today with 7th grade writing. Let's wish them all the best. Here are the upcoming FSA testing dates in April. And finally, this month we will show that we are FSA ready. Every day we will have an activity that is FSA related. Today is share a video of you and your parents reciting math facts. You can send videos to pines.renaissance at gmail.com. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Yos Donnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. Great weather. I was made for sunny days. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What did the baby Egyptian say when he got lost? I want my mommy. Now let's go to Sonia for today's birthdays. Thanks, Samuel. That was another great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Asante Hene, Henry Baparimba, Josiah Rodriguez, Wakari Wild Goose, Leonardo Barra, and Alexis Smith. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to yours, Danny. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school as art respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Silvera. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, what is unusual about the following words? Revive, banana, grammar, voodoo, assess, potato, dresser, and uneven. The correct answer to the riddle was, if you place the first letter of the word at the end, they spell the same word backwards. Now for today's riddle, what always ends everything? Again, what always ends everything? Teachers. Please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone on RBTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day.